Today I'm gonna to share with you one of my sneaky little tricks to tighten my arrow groups when I'm shooting. Let's get started. Hey, Joe McLean here from CatholicHack.com where I live my life for God and I'm passionate about traditional archery. I've noticed lately that my groups really have been spreading out and it's clearly a, a, a form issue that I'm suffering through, but here's one of the sneaky tricks that I use to tighten those arrow groups. I go for the Robin Hood. Now I've taken an old arrow shaft that I have Robin Hooded in the past and I've shoved a little piece of orange football, Nerf football into the tip of that and I'm going to put this into the target and I'm actually going to try to Robin Hood this thing again. Let's see what happens. It's not awesome either. They're not super tight, but there's certainly a big improvement over a minute ago. My groups seem to be pretty wide. And the more narrow you make it, the more consistency and accuracy you can develop. So I'm happy with this improvement in a very short amount of time. But let's keep working. that final shot and it did end up right to the group but still not bad so this obviously illustrates the power of focus and how in a very short amount of time it can start to shrink your arrow groups just giving yourself something to hyper focus on sometimes when you're looking at a target all you see is a, like a little pinpoint dot you know it's still hard especially if you're ADD like I am to focus your attention on that spot my vision still sees the bigger target and therefore I start to get loose and complacent on my form and arrows start to go all over the place so this is one of the sneaky tricks that I use to bring it back into focus to remind myself to get back to the basics when I'm not shooting well you know consistency accuracy shot cycle form focus this focus trick really works well for me but I would love to know what works for you if you'll comment below with your sneaky tricks to focus your attention and to shrink your arrow groups that way we can all learn together we always learn so much in the com box below this and I'm grateful for that I am gonna post a link to a, a video from the s3 archery channel those guys are phenomenal they put out videos for a few years now I've gotten a lot out of them well they have a video where they use a dandelion they, I think it's a dandelion. It's you know it's some sort of plant that they put on the little flowery looking, fuzzy looking plant that they shoot at, and uh, it helps to focus their attention. It's a three dimensional object other than the target itself, and it does really work and I highly recommend it. So I'll link to that video below. But what do you do? Comment below with that, help us out, and I appreciate that. If you haven't done so already, 
subscribe to the channel, give this video a thumbs up, and share it. Hey, are you on Reddit? I could really use your help. You know, I am on Reddit, but I don't spend time on Reddit. And Reddit doesn't like the fact that I don't spend time on Reddit. So when I post video links there, they kind of don't love that. They want you to be an active member. I can appreciate that, but I frankly don't have the time. So if you do, and you're on Reddit, share this video or any of my videos on Reddit to help me grow the channel, to help me grow the traditional archery community, to share our love and passion for traditional archery with the world. Can you do that? I'd be grateful. Uh, you know, forums, Facebook, Twitter, whatever, Pinterest, uh, Instagram, I'll take it all. I'm, I'm very grateful. Hey, thanks for being a part of this community. Thanks for watching this video. I've got a couple of cool videos coming up. I think next week I'll be putting out my Super Bowl edition of Will It Stop a Broadhead? So look for that. And I think I'm going to start a conversation on whether or not instinctive archery is really just gap shooting in the end. That is a much better group than when I started. That ought to get some archers fired up. We'll see what happens with that conversation in a couple of weeks. Hey, I'm praying for you that you shoot straight, and I hope you pray for me that I shoot straight. And until the next video, may God richly bless you. Why couldn't I just start off with that? Why did I have to end with that?